Many people have more than one dog, even a cat, thrown in the mix. Sherry Soltis shows you how you can manage a multiple pet household in this morning's My Pet. Hi, I'm Sherry Soltis with Service Dogs, Inc. If you live in a home with multiple pets like I do, there's a few key rules you can follow so you have a peaceful kingdom of your own. We're going to go over them right now. Giving your dogs their favorite treat is a time where a lot of people often slip up. If you're offering a dog treats and it's not clear which dog is going to get the treat, this is a perfect time where they could get in a fight trying to go after the same yummy thing. It's better to make sure you have two distinct separate treats and each dog is clear on which treat they're getting so they can enjoy it without worrying about somebody stealing their treat or getting the opportunity to steal the other dog's treat. Sloppy feeding and sloppy treat giving are a huge cause of aggression, so make sure your dog is clear on what it's getting and has its own place to eat it. Sloppy feeding can be a huge cause of aggression. So if you have a dog who finishes early and tries to steal the other dog's food, it is a huge help to feed them very separately from each other. So I'm gonna give Pearl her food in the bedroom. And while she's eating, I'm gonna give Snowy her food here in the kitchen. If you have cats and dogs, it's a great idea to have your cat food up high so your dogs can't get to it. That way you'll avoid any skirmishes with dogs and cats trying to get to the same food. When you have multiple cats, it's good to have plenty of bowls and everything else they're gonna need so they can each get what they need without having to fight each other over it. If you make sure all the animals in your home have all the resources they need and don't have to compete with them, you can have multiple pets and still have a peaceable kingdom. For more on all kinds of animals and living with them happily, check us out on KXN.com.